yeah, I probably will be playing something in every video. Um, some better, some worse. I just got a mandolin though, so you never know. I might get better through the course of four weeks. Uh, another little short video, uh, only going to post this in private discussion just because you're already in the course. You can find it. I don't need to show you that. Uh, the big thing is that uh, our course will probably always have ocean or a surfboard on it. Uh, to, truth be told, if I could, I'd be on the ocean every day surfing, but I live in Alberta, so <laughs> it just doesn't happen. So a couple things. First thing is this is the course home. Uh, hopefully you've already watched uh, my little intro video. Uh, you get to know me a little bit. Uh, the next thing is hopefully you've already completed this first four. So read the course I outline, like really do, because it's the bit about uh, course integrity and academic integrity is important. Uh, sign up for some reminders, especially to private discussions, reply and post. So in my first private discussion that you're looking at right now, please fill, send me a little information based on the question in the bottom. And the last one, fill out that learner profile quiz. That gives me a ton of information and will streamline our communication. Next thing, for those of you who are new, number one, content. Content is the biggie. This is where everything is located. The thing with this is I can track how much time you spend on each little section. So that doesn't mean I'm going to be in there every week going, oh, John has only spent 30 seconds on this whole unit. But it gives me an idea if you're just flying through the course or if you're trying to engage in it. In each one of these, let's go into a unit. By the way, your formula sheet is here. Please print it off and use it. It is fantastic. It saves you having to memorize a lot of things. Uh, in the factors and products, this is unit one. Once you finish your four and read through everything else, the review gives you some videos. So this is stuff that hopefully you have coming in from grade nine or from previously taking the course. These videos here are pretty solid. That's why they're in here. There's a lot of thought and care gone into this course. I didn't build it. Okay, I know the people who did, and they are brilliant mathematicians. These little things here, though, these examples, get out a piece of paper and a pencil. Get your calculator out and do the work. Okay, don't just read it and go, yeah, I get it. If you just click on the solution and read it, your brain never has to think. And if you're not thinking, you're not going to build the skills. So you can actually build a great deal of uh, skill in four weeks. But it means don't just sit there and read. Get a piece of paper. Get a pencil get your calculator ready, and do the work. You can do most of this just with a regular uh, scientific calculator as well. Uh, as you go through different videos, uh, extra practice, there's even the textbook. If you really want to lock this in, jump into that textbook, do some problems. Now, the quiz, you'll see here it says, this quiz is not for marks. So again, I can't, these aren't mandatory quizzes, but I can't stress enough how important it is to test your knowledge. It also gives me a quick checkpoint to say, uh, maybe I need to check in with these five students on how to do uh, factoring polynomials. So if you get those emails saying, hey, I noticed you're struggling, come jump in with me into a live room and we'll go through some of those skills. Once I hit next, it's gonna show me that you've actually completed that little module. So the content, is basically like Dora the Explorer. If you're not sure who she is, she's a cartoon. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go step by step, one at a time, take the quizzes as you go through it. Uh, I had one student come up with a great idea uh, last year and what they did is that they actually printed off the review assignment and started to work on it while they were going through some of the quizzes and the things. So they could use their notes based on what they were taking to answer those questions. Uh, next thing, the checklist. Checklist is uh, not mandatory. It's just a great way to keep track of what you're doing. So as soon as you finish something, check it off. Okay? It has all of the units in here uh, for each specific unit. So here, these are all of, you can't actually see that there. Hold on. There we go. My computer's moved over. So once you finish that unit, you can check it off. And that way you know you're going to hit each, each step along the way. Uh, I'll just cancel that. Next thing, discussions. Again, you're watching this, so I know you're here. There are two main discussions. One is the introduce yourself. So this is just so the 40 of us in this course can get to know at least a little snippet about each other. Uh, if you need a question, um, this is more if you're asking your peers for help. If you have a specific question, please use your private discussion. 
for that. And I will either shoot a video or I'll arrange a time when we can get together. Uh, next thing is the assignments. This is where you're going to be dropping your three assignments. So in here, the biggest thing for me is that I'll put a video out on this. When you're submitting your assignments, one PDF oriented properly. Don't send me the five pages in separate files. Uh, it takes forever for me to download and mark that. So again, I'll, put, I'll post a video on that as you get closer to that. Quizzes. You ready? Get ready because there's a lot. So you'll notice here, learner profile, uh, that one is available to the end, but get it done today. Don't wait, just take it. Uh, here, these ones here, the factors and multiples, these are not for marks. Okay, It's for you to be able to check yourself really quickly to say, oh, I got it, I don't. You get two attempts on each, so if you do really poorly, please reach out to me and say, hey, I didn't get these questions, could you explain it? Or review your notes, try it again. I will be watching the scores on that to provide some support. Uh, there are some bigger pieces like the measurement unit exam. The unit exams are for marks. They are timed, so you have 90 minutes to complete it. Uh, for some of you, I've already made arrangements to extend that time, uh, but if you need help with that, please let me know. Uh, I, those exams, though, those are you. That would be like coming into the test center and taking that test. So uh, no books. Don't use your notes. Try, not try, do. This is where you get to put yourself in that seat, use your academic integrity, and take the test. You'll notice that you also get two attempts on those as well. So you can reach out for support in between those attempts. Other than that, uh, your grades are here. Uh, they will reflect your uh, assignments, assignments and your unit tests. So those quizzes, as you'll notice here, do not show up in your grades because those are checkpoints. They're not going to impact your final grades. All right, so hopefully that explains those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of it. Uh, just know when, when in doubt, private message Mr. Paul and we'll get you sorted out. Thank you, everybody. I look forward to hearing about you in your learner profile quiz and in your response to this message.